Hi, this is David with eMiniTradingStrategies.com. In this live video, we're going to take a normal system entry. It's a higher probability normal system entry. Um, of course, it hasn't signaled yet. It's getting ready to. We're coming at a no zone. So this is a higher probability trade. You see I've got my dome set up for 8 tick stop loss with a 6 tick profit. Okay, I could have jumped in an early entry technique, which is just triggered over to the right and would have given me a better fill and it would have got me in early. That's why it's called early entry technique, but we've got a lot of videos of that, so we're just going to try to catch an analysis. There it is. Let's jump in here at a quarter. Go and limit right there, and we got a better fill, right? My worst case fill here was a quarter. I got filled at 75. So had I been in on the EET, assuming it filled, I've got a little bit of a better fill. So, but in any event, this is a higher probability NSC. So what I'm getting at is I've got the opportunity to take more profit off this trade. Okay, any trade can win, any trade can lose. We know this. We take losers, we take winners. So the goal as a day trader is to be able to stay in a higher probability trade for more profit. Because that teaches you how to recover. That's how you recover from losing trades. If you take trades and you only make a certain amount of money off of each one and you take losers, it's very difficult to recover if you don't have a higher probability setup that you could stay in longer. And that's one of the things I teach my students in my day trading system is how to stay in trades longer but we want to stay in higher probability trades longer any trade you know right now the market's moving slow okay it's a high probability trade it could still lose and it could still win okay so we've got to go off of what we know and that's the rules so we want to stay in a trade but let's go ahead and pause here in a moment and we'll come back as markets moving slow okay we're back uh, if it hits down here it, there it goes uh, we just hit four ticks, so stop loss is down to entry, and that's a good thing. So again, normally on a standard NSC, we would just take four ticks profit. If we were in the EET, we'd have about six, seven ticks profit now, possibly even more. Actually, actually, it would be about eight ticks profit. So taking the EET coming out of no zone, you've got a little, you know, it's more of an aggressive trade, but the risk reward's a lot better. But the NSC is more of a higher probability trade. So we're going to go for the six ticks. We've already had the four ticks. Easily would have been filled off that. Our stop loss is an entry. So it could bounce up and stop us out. Okay, I don't know that it will. I don't know that it won't. But if it does, it does. It's just one trade of many trades that we're going to take as a trader. Okay, day traders make literally hundreds of trades a year. And some are going to win and some are going to lose. It's really all about staying focused. Okay. I teach a lot of students and I talk to a lot of students on the phone and uh, when something like this happens, you know, you're in a trade a little bit longer than normal, volume's really low, volatility is really low, it's one tick away from your target and then it starts bouncing up and now look, we make it stopped out and this can cause emotional issues if you allow it, okay, when you say, well, we could have had four, we could have had five, we could have had six, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda, you gotta follow the rules, okay, this is a live trading account you're seeing, it's real. And if we get stopped out even, we get stopped out even. That's the way trading is. Hindsight's always 2020. So you've got to stick with what you know. And staying focused is what's important, okay? This is a high probability trade. I'm going to stay in this trade based off of my system rules, based off of my target, it, in this case, is a quarter. So I'm not going to sit here and say, well, it was right there at a quarter, and or it was right there at 50. I could have just gotten out and had profit, then it bounced up. That's when traders let emotions decide what they're going to do. And that's why day trading is difficult, because things like this are going to happen. It'll become one tick from, from being profitable, then it bounces back up and it stops you out, which hasn't happened yet. But then you'll see it turn all the way back around and become a great winning trade you say oh if I just didn't move my stop or if I just did this you can't trade like that so if you get one thing out of this video get that you gotta follow the rules at all times if you don't have a set of rules in which to follow you've got to get a set of rules if you do have a set of day trading rules and you can't follow them that means you're not disciplined you have to get disciplined okay so even with low volume low volatility I've got to go with the fact that this is a high probability trade also really quick you'll see that an EET setup just now over on the right that's an avoided EET even though it's plotting on our screen we don't the rules tell us not to take that trade because we're coming in a no zone this NSC is a high probability winner so I don't want to take an EET long against this okay now we're at profit 
Here's our six text. Let's just see if we can get filled. If we can get filled, we'll lock down six text. Uh, bounce back up. Sometimes that happens. But this is what this is all about. Okay? Don't get the woulda, shoulda, coulda. Learn to trade. Learn to follow your rules. And stay disciplined. Take emotion out of your trading at all times. Okay, we're off. And, you know, had a little bit more profit in there. Down ticked right there. What's that? 62. You know, maybe we could have made seven or eight ticks. But we had a great trade, great profit. And that's how you trade. It's sticking with the rules at all times. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time.